Shai Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. All right, this one is going to be a quick hit, and I'm going to try to make it straight to the point. All right, as you can see, the word edify, and I have the etymology queued up. And uh, it says to build, construct, to build up morally or in faith. Okay, so those are the key words here in the etymology for the word edify. Edify means to to build, construct. Okay, real quick, let me uh, just see what it can give me on the word construct. Something such as a building road, right? Yeah, you're building upon a road, you're constructing it. All right, you're making it right. If you construct something such as an idea, a piece of writing, or a system, you create it by putting different parts together. So edify means to build, which is putting different parts together to get the truth, okay? So it says to build, construct, to build up morally or in faith. So I was talking, you know, a little earlier and uh, having conversation and speaking on about building. And uh, ultimately, let me say, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the power that tears down but builds it back up. And one thing about being in this truth, you get tore down, okay, spiritually, but then you get built back up stronger, all right, so that you can be ready for the day of the battle, all right. So it says to build, construct, to build up morally or in faith. Now, bear with me. Let's see for the word moral, right? It says moral are principles and belief concerning right and wrong behavior. So it's all about right and wrong behavior. Okay, what is the wrong behavior? Holding the Passover and having it at a club, man. You know, when it's supposed to be a, the, the Passover, the first day is a Sabbath. Okay, a Solomon assembly. You know, and that's just an example. And the brothers know, you know, that, you know, knucklehead shit that, that certain Israelite men do. That's wrong. Okay? What is wrong? Committing adultery, man. All right? Being a wicked man. Being a wicked woman. Morals are principles and beliefs concerning right and wrong behavior. Okay? Right. That's basically what it is, man. Okay, so edify, to build, construct, to build up morally or in faith. So we have to, you know, we pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai to build up our faith and our morals, you know, our, our uh, better behavior and how we conduct ourselves in this truth. That's very important. Okay, it says build, install. You know, we want, want the Lord to install us, the, uh, that building block. All right, to bring together the things we once knew, you know? It says teach, instruct. That's what the prophets are here for, to teach the word, to prophesize, uh, to build, construct, improve spiritually. We all need to improve spiritually, you know? The scriptures say a spiritual man judges all things, meaning he don't just judge according to his own mind, his own heart, he judges according to Yahweh by Shem Shai. So every little thing that happens in front of him or situation he judge it ac accordingly to the scriptures you know what what the lord say about this situation did this happen before you know let me call up a brother let me call up an elder you know if i'm able to talk to the apostles what the apostles what you think about this you know to improve spiritually you know seeking advice is a way to improve spiritually to get edified so that that building block that you're missing can be installed so that you can get to the next block it says uh instruct you know there it is so real quick like i said this is will be a quick hit and lord willing i pray it's edifying lord willing
Like I said, I was just having a conversation earlier and uh conversation led to the word edify and I wanted to do a quick hit on quick hit on it while I'm here at the park. So uh Romans 14 19. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another so that a brother or sister could build on to further increase their faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, we all got to come to the seat of the Lord. We all going to have to fight through these, this great battle, which is to seek salvation, man. You know, the scriptures talk about Jacob's trouble, the hours of temptation. All right. These, these things is going to happen. You can see these things happening by seeing that this system is headed in that direction. You know, dealing with the J-A, B-A-B, you know, y'all know what it is. And being that you have to have a P-A-S, you know, U-S-S, -S, you know, you, you get it, all right? Being that you have to have those things, eventually it's going to be uh, tempting. You know, for those who, who are, uh, let's say, for those who are not strong in the faith. So that's the, what, hours of temptation, especially when they force that, 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 that chip, man. Okay, when they force the chip, it says, let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. So we're teaching the ways of salvation. All right, we're teaching the way of peace okay so that one of the lord's elect all right could be edified man now this is first corinthians 10 and 23 all things are lawful for me but all things are not expedient all things are lawful for me but all things edify not see so everything is not edifying so to show yourself you know representing the lord's passover and you're in a club and i'm using that as an example all right because that's a big stain on, on that particular group That's a stain, man That's a stain, man It's like having a shit stain You know, and you bending over And people seeing your shit stain in the back of your ass, man You know, that's just the truth That's a shit stain It says, all things are lawful for me But all things edify not That wasn't edifying Okay, so not everything is edifying Not everything need to be seen on camera Okay, it's not edifying. Okay, this is the last one. First Thessalonians 5 and 11. It says, Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And that's what the men of the Lord do. Starting with the apostles and elders here at Great Millstone, the men on them, you know, and edify one another, even as also you do. Because our shows and lessons is supposed that you're supposed to be able to eat from. You know, it's like a, a tree. That gives off a, a fruit you can you know grab from the tree and you can eat from you know you can build and go on your way you grab from the tree a, a fruit you know an apple orange whatever it may be and you you go on your journey and you get nourished while you eat the fruit you get that spirit of life you know that energy you know so lord willing i hope this lesson is edifying all right i want to give all praises to yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Uh, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom.